Stuart Norris from Cadillac, you are the father of this system, <laughs> so I hear. Um, what is it can you, that you can tell us about the Q system and its specific functionalities? Okay, so uh, this is really a cockpit, uh, integrated and holistic cockpit experience for our next generation of Cadillac interiors. It's really about taking infotainment and connectivity and then a consumer electronics level of kind of uh, user experience of bringing that into our next generation of Cadillac interiors. So we start firstly with the center stack. Um, it's a fully capacitive faceplate. We've got both um, capacitive over the, over the, uh, the um, color display, which is an industry first, and got that in, then into the uh, faceplate lower. So you've got this kind of common um, level of interaction with both the screen and the buttons. We really started off trying to make this kind of this uh, um, a seamless integration of displays and controls. And so by making all of this capacitive, we were able to, to really deliver that kind of extra level of integration. Um, we've got proximity sensing, so if I bring my hand into the into use the system, it brings extra controls and buttons up. So when I'm driving along and I just want to see basic radio information, I've got that. Then when I want to go in and use the system, my hand comes in and I get more buttons come up. I've got an application tray along the top here that allows me to jump between audio, navigation, phone, and, and I can personalize this and customize it. Additionally, I've got a series of buttons along the bottom here that are contextually applied. So I'm in audio here, I've got my radio band, I can change to XM, AM, FM, and then I can change then also to, you know, I've got my media change, I can move over to my USB stick. Right. Um, we've got, uh, we have um, haptic feedback in the system, so when I want to go and use the buttons, this, this beautifully clean, very contemporary, modern, upscale look that you get with capacitive, you don't actually get any like tactile feedback when you use the system. So we've added haptics. So when I go in and I, um, so for example, if I go to a radio band here, I'm in XM, I bring up a list. When I'm running my finger along that, if you want to give that a try, you can feel like the haptics the little oh, right. pulse coming through the screen. Yes. Um, and that, that happens across the whole faceplate. So also if I use my uh, my HVAC controls and I get a, I get the haptics through that as well. Um, then one of the really big things that we did uh, as a, like an interior design organization, we really wanted to free up interior storage into the center of the vehicle. So when we started developing the Q system, we busted up the kind of traditional silver box architecture that we have for, for infotainment and we split it around the rest of the interior and what that means now is that we've got this cool 1.8 litres of storage inside the bin here. Um, this is all flocked, it's got an interior light, we've got a lit um, USB in there, we've got a beautiful rubber mat and so on, so this is a really uh, real win to the customer in terms of centre line of vehicle storage. Again, that's operated by a capacitive button on the bottom of the faceplate that then cleans it all up and you've got your storage device uh, in the And then additionally we've also got this uh, fully reconfigurable 12 inch display available on the XTS so um, this is all controlled using the five-way controller on the steering wheel I can toggle between my different zones uh, I can adjust my information on the left hand side there additionally I can then manage all of my audio or phone information so we've got these really cool animations in the in the display I can browse my media and then one of the really cool things we've, we've got showing here, we're showing nav being rendered actually in the display here. Um, I can show my digital speed, I can show like a traditional mechanical gauge. One of the really cool things about what we've done on Q is we've made the reconfigurable display really reconfigurable. So let me show you some of the ways here. So I've got a display layout function in here. I pick that, and then I've got four, well three others, so four in total looks that I can pick from. Um, so let me show you here, this is the performance layout. So I pick the performance layout, the screen completely reconfigures itself. And we've got now a big dominant tack and a big dominant speedo. This is a very different aesthetic. Um, I can go in and then manage all of my information on the left hand side again. This is cool, I can go through my vehicle information. This is actually a, a 3D um, model, uh, uh, like a 500 polygon model of the XTS. And this actually is being rendered in real time inside the hardware. 
So it's kind of bringing that cool kind of game, almost like gaming level of, uh, of um, aesthetic and, and detail into the cluster. Um, and then if I go back over to my settings again, we also heard from a lot of customers that we want a really simple, simple layout with almost no information, just speed and, and kind of uh, gas range on it. So I can then go in and reconfigure to my super simple mode. Again, like really beautiful uh, transitions. And here we've got this super simple layout. I've got radio information here on the left. I've got my fuel range on the right. I've got a digital speedo. And then I've just got really basic kind of vehicle information in through here. So I can, I can see my trip. I can do, uh, you know, fuel range and fuel economy, all standard kind of stuff. Um, and then finally I've got, um, within settings, I can go to... Um, my enhanced layout. And one of the things we also heard from a lot of customers was, you know, they've got this connected life, they want to be able to see a lot of information at one time. So this fourth layout we call enhanced, which shows um, a big dominant area in the middle here for my for my phone information. Um, so I can go, I can show my navigation in the middle. I'm rendering the, the real-time uh, map that data is being rendered in the top left-hand corner. I can have turn by turn there. Uh, I can get my phone information through here. We don't have a phone connected right now, but I could browse my contacts and so on. Um, again, I can, I, can, uh, yeah, I can browse my source. So I can, yeah, I can actually pick my USB through the steering wheel controls, through my, my audio information all through the cluster. So, I mean, we're offering this level of tailor, tailoring to the to the overall cluster layout. Um, we're showing, you, know, you can tailor even within those those levels. And then we're also offering like this really safe, like hands on the wheels, eyes on the road kind of approach of being able to manage a lot of the content from the center stack through the cluster. Yes, it does. Brilliant. Some of the other stuff we've got in here as well, like, uh, so if I go back to my home screen, yeah, this is a very familiar look. It's got a very kind of uh, consumer electronics type look to it. Um, I can the capacitive means I can just kind of uh, you know, swipe between my pages. I can then go in here and then uh, if I do a press and hold, I can now edit this. So I've, you know I've got my application tray up through here. I can add other things that I want to kind of. Um, uh, edit to that mm -hmm. moment caller. I got you. Beta software. Hmm. I'm sure let me do it in a second. So I can I can press and hold this, and then I can move these uh, elements around on the screen and reposition them wherever I like. Um, let me try this one more time. Okay, for some reason that's not letting me do that. So I should be able to update my uh, my application tray at the top there, but it's got a level of ed edit editing uh, that's really pretty cool and mm -hmm. again. Yeah, really draws upon the customer's expectations from a consumer electronics perspective. You can see the proximity sensor here, so I can I can then uh, pull up my favorites. So I've got my favorites along the bottom there. Um, if I change back to radio band, um, I go into my list here. I can go pick a BPM. So then I can I can press and hold this, and that will save that favorite. I'm mm -hmm. getting a pulse through that. Mm -hmm. um, then when I go back to my home screen, this is a really cool level of uh, of um, functionality I can do here. I can go into radio. I can manage my favorites, and then I can actually go in here and rename what I've just saved as a favorite. All right. So XM51 here. Yeah, maybe it's. Uh, So Stu Fave, okay, I'm done. So it resaves that. Now when I go back to my audio page, I've got my favorite, I've been able to rename that. Yes. Now these favorites, we can save audio, playlists, navigation entries, phone numbers. So you can imagine you keep you save a frequently used nav entry or something, go in there, press and hold it, rename that. So there's, there's a the favorites, the level of favorites functionality is really taken to the next level. The level of personalization is yeah. taken to Yeah, so the I can customize level, yeah. almost, I mean, it's a very safe way of doing things. I can save, you know, uh, my frequently used uh, functions that maybe uh, I don't want to use a lot of menuing for, and then I can rename it and customize it just to, how the way I like to. Mm. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Stu, for taking us through this. You're welcome. It's uh, a pleasure. You've done a very good job, and, and uh, I'm sure last 
a, a, a hard last three years for you. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been uh, you know we've we set ourselves a lot of uh, very you know um, high technical challenges and organisational challenges to get this kind of uh, level of um, technology into the vehicle, and uh, we're delighted to see it now you know, finally coming to uh, fruition. Absolutely. Well, good work, and thanks. Thank thanks thanks again. Well.